To create a print and cut contour project, we can drag and drop a flower vector from the shapes library onto the design mat. On the top menu bar, we select effects and then scroll down to the shadow effect contour cut. In the shadow layer window, we click on the print and cut outline checkbox. By moving the size slider, we can extend the distance of the contour from the edge of the design. Pressing OK will create a new layer in the Layers panel that contains the new contour outline we have created. If we move up to the toolbar and press the preview icon, we see the red contour mark that will be cut around the flower. You can also click on other checkboxes to see what will be printed compared to what will be cut. If you have a complex design and you only want to work with certain parts of it at any one time, in the Layers panel you can toggle the eye on or off to hide or reveal any layer. For this design we want to use both layers so we will leave the eye icon enabled for all layers. Back up in the toolbar, click the cutter icon to review that all your cutter settings are correct. Here we can see that the cutter is a prism cut. We are communicating with the cutter via TCP IP and Wi-Fi, and that the IP address we have entered here matches the IP address that appears on the top of the cutter's home screen. If we want, we can control speed and force via software, but most people leave these unchecked so that speed and force are handled from the cutter's home screen. Next, we click on the Print and Cut button in the lower left to open the Print and Cut window. Before we can cut our design, we first have to send it to the printer. Make sure that your printer prints at actual size. Place the printed page in the cutter so that the L-shaped registration mark in the lower right-hand corner of the page appears directly below the tip of the cutter blade. Position the page so that it is under the pinch wheels and then move the blade to the L-shaped registration marks. Press Next and then Start which will allow the cutter to read all four registration marks and then know exactly where to start cutting around your design on the printed page. In another example, let's print and contour cut another picture using a rasterized image in a PNG file. Since this is a rasterized picture instead of a vectorized drawing, we need to use the File Place Image option. For vector-based artwork, we would use the File Import instead of the File Place Image option. Since we are working with Place Image, we can see that all the other file types of our bird that are vector-based are grayed out and that the Place Image function only allows us to choose images that are rasterized or made up of pixels. We will select the birdpng.png file. Note that these bird files were created for this video and are not included in the Shortcuts A Lot software download. Next, we select File and the Trace image to draw a contour or outline the outer edge of our bird. We click the Add Image layer box, which will add a print and cut layer to the Layers panel once we click OK. Moving up to the menu bar, we can select Effects and then scroll down to the Shadow Layer Contour Cut option. We can adjust the distance of the contour by moving the Size slider. When printing and cutting stickers, you may want to cut with some white space around your design, but this is completely up to you. Clicking on the preview icon in the toolbar allows us to view the red cut outline of the bird.
Click on the cutter icon in the toolbar and then the print and cut button in the bottom left of the window, which will send both registration mark information and cut line information to the cutter. In the print and cut window, first print your design and place it in your prism cut cutter so that the page is in the cutter completely straight and the blade is positioned at the point of the L mark in the lower right hand corner of the page. It is important that you set your printer to use actual size when printing or contour cutting will not work. Once your artwork has been positioned in the cutter, press Next and then Start Scan. The cutter will then search for the registration marks in the four corners of the page and know exactly where to start cutting around the design on the printed page.